Let's talk about Fred. It's a depression as of the five o'clock advisory. That center pretty much hovering over the border of Georgia uh, and also Alabama this morning. 15 miles south southwest of Columbus, Georgia, 35 miles per hour. Or so a weakening trend with this disturbance. Uh, the problem is it's still producing heavy rainfall and still the impacts of tornadoes and gusty winds. Everything you expect to see with an inland moving tropical system. So it's going to continue north northeast, picking up some forward speed this morning, tracking over the southern Appalachian mountain chain and then central apps through Wednesday and then pushing towards Pennsylvania by Thursday afternoon 25 miles per hour. So as the center is moving closer to us today, it's going to pull more moisture in even as it's tracking to our west into Wednesday. We'll keep some of that shower and storm activity around so you can see the rainfall really lining up from Georgia up into Tennessee this morning, but we're getting some of the outskirts of the moisture across the area this morning as well. Very isolated showers overall, mainly around Wayne County down in the parts of uh, Harnett to uh, Johnston County. Excuse me. So watching that track to the north and west just east of Smithfield. Today we have a risk for some isolated severe storms. Uh, the better potential will be out to our west, but we're still watching this green area here. Roxborough down at Durham, Siler City, Pinehurst. That's where we have a threat for maybe an isolated tornado or two damaging winds. It all comes along with tropical systems, so we'll just be watching the radar closely. That better potential, I think, this afternoon as we get a little bit more unstable. Heavy rainfall risk continues today, still around that level one to two. We're teetering on the edge there of a little bit higher threat today. Uh, locally heavy downpours could lead to some quick street flooding, but overall it's not going to be a big issue for us. Better off to the west. You're heading out soon. Upper 60s, low to mid 70s today. Keep the rain gear going. You're going to need it throughout the week pretty much. Highs today around the mid 80s, so we catch still the heat break today. But notice scattered shower and storms continue into the afternoon and certainly into evening as well. Here's your first alert predictor forecast model. By late morning, 10, 30, 11, we'll see some of those passing bands of showers moving through. And this is again where some of those rain bands could be a little bit heavy at times. This is 1 o'clock, 1.30 this afternoon, seeing showers and storms passing. Those downpours potentially still moving through too. Heading into late tonight, we'll keep the rainfall around. I think we'll have some overnight activity as well. Tomorrow morning this time, I think we see a little bit more coverage of showers and storms, and some of that could be heavy, so commutes will be interrupted, maybe slowed down a bit on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, we're starting to see the trailing off of the showers and storms as Fred's remnants are pulling away from us. Rain totals mainly about an inch or less, maybe some isolated heavier totals, bringing about some isolated uh, heavier rainfall too. Also tracking grace, this disturbance moving towards Jamaica, 40 miles per hour. It's a little bit stronger than yesterday. It's going to continue to move to the west, ultimately over Cancun, the Yucatan Peninsula, and then the Hurricane Center now dropping it just below uh, hurricane status. This is a change from the earlier forecast map. 70 miles per hour. Could it be stronger? Absolutely. It's going to move inland around Mexico by Saturday night into Sunday. And then there's Tropical Storm Henri producing some gustier winds and rain around Bermuda. It's going to increase the swell for our coastline as that disturbance is tracking near and far uh, throughout the week. So just watching out for that potential if you're heading to the beach, if you have some plans, rip current threat a little bit higher.